change your hair? Yeah, it's nice. It's like doing this now. But used to be, used to, but now it's, yeah, I like it. You should give me the name of your guy, because I wanted to, hey, oh, hey, how are you? You ever think to yourself, no matter what I do, I can't seem to get anywhere. I can't, I can't get enough traction. Well, you, my friend, need some more friction. Which one of these two shoes has more friction, hmm? Take a closer look. Huh? Huh? Right, bam. This one, this one doesn't have a lot of treads. It doesn't have a lot of friction. But this one, it's got metal spikes on the bottom. This is called a cleat, and the spikes are for helping you grip onto the grass when you're playing soccer or golf, increasing its friction. Why do you think skis are smooth on the bottom? Come on, look at that. It's so smooth and, and glidey. My hand just, I can barely even touch the surface. It just slides right off. It's sort of glidey and smooth. They're smooth to help you glide across the snow, reducing their friction. Why doesn't this box slide down this ramp? Friction. This roller skate has wheels. Wheels reduce friction. But when I push the roller skate, how come it doesn't just keep rolling forever and ever and ever and ever? Then going all the way around the world and writing a memoir. Say it with me. Friction, louder. Friction, can't hear you. Friction, a little too loud. Friction, ease it back. Friction. How can I hang on to this rope without falling? Friction. How can I, how can I jump down on the floor without falling over? Friction, and now you know your friction. Your friction, your, your friction, come on. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh, Ramona, the friction sign is broken. <laughs> Reset. Uh-oh. This is a magnet. This is a magnet. This is a magnet. This is a shoe. What's the difference? To know that, you have to know your magnets. This is a donut. It does not stick to this magnet. This is a spoon. It sticks to this magnet. These paper clips stick to this magnet. This shoe does not. So what has attracted the magnets? Only things that are ferromagnetic. Here's the difference. Horseshoe, horseshoe magnet. This one is a magnet. This one is not. But the horseshoe sticks to the horseshoe magnet because this one's a magnet and this one is ferromagnetic. Only things that are ferromagnetic are attracted to magnets. Things that are not attracted to magnets, they're not ferromagnetic. Plastic, banana, mitten, sandwich, magazine. No, but how do you know? Do you go around the world sticking a magnet to every single thing one at a time? Hey, Ma, I need you to come over. I need to see if you're ferromagnetic. No, ferromagnetic. No, you don't need to do that. First of all, only metals are ferromagnetic. So that eliminates all your clothing, your luncheon meats, your magazines, what have you. Everything that's not metal, you don't need to worry about. You, never mind, Ma, it doesn't matter. But this clock is metal. It doesn't stick. Well, not all metals are ferromagnetic. Mainly just the ones with iron, nickel, or cobalt. And there you have it. Now you know your magnets. I hit the phone on the magnet there. Okay, uh, can you hear me, Ma? Hang up the phone. Hang up. Hang up the... That's good, Ramona. Put it in the... Put it in the background. Put the sign in the background. Yeah, in the BG. I love the BG. Chemicals, 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 chemicals. What are chemicals? Are they things you have in a lab in a jar that say chemical on them? Well, yes, but if that's all you think chemicals are, then you need to know your chemicals. Turns out the stuff in the jar is a chemical, but the jar itself also made of chemicals. The table I'm putting it on. 
made of chemicals. My lunch, chemicals. Roller skate, chemicals. My jacket, chemicals. This guitar, chemicals. My shoe, chemicals. This watch, chemicals. This fish, chemicals. Chemicals, 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 chemicals. Me, chemicals. You, chemicals. Ramona, chemicals. No, I said you're chemicals. Chem it, never mind. This is it, the periodic table of the elements. All matter in the universe is made up of these pure elements. They go together in different ways to make up everything, all matter. Think of it like building blocks. These little atoms are some of the elements on this periodic table. You got one oxygen, two hydrogen, bam, you got a water molecule. One carbon, two oxygen, hey, it's carbon dioxide. Two carbon, two oxygen, four hydrogen, skadoosh, vinegar. One sodium, one chlorine, hey, that's salt. All matter in the universe is just the stuff on here combining into these. And now, you know your chemicals. Mmm, sugar. Yeah, thanks, Ramona. And give me one of them fizzy drinks. Not too fizzy, just sort of medium fizzy. Thanks a lot. Hello, do you have trouble knowing what is a solid, liquid, or gas? Are you confused by jello? I mean, which is it? Is it a solid or is it a liquid? Water is a liquid, but what about when it's ice? Well, you got to know your states of matter. There are three main states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. And there are three rules that you need to figure out which one of them is which. Does it flow? Does it fit the shape of its container? And can you squeeze it? Rule number one, does it flow? Solid, liquid, gas. Here's a gas. Does it flow? Do the particles pour over each other and cascade down? Yeah, yeah, they do. Does a liquid flow? Yeah, yeah, it does. Does a solid? Nope. Rule number two, what happens when you put it in a container? Does it take the shape of the container? Gases take the shape of the container. Liquids takes the shape of the container. Solids do not take the shape of their container. No! know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I get the whole pouring and taking the shape of the container, but come on. Liquids and gases, they do both of those things. Well, it all comes down to rule number three. Can you squeeze it? Now, solids, you, you, can't, you can't really squeeze them. Liquids, you can't really squeeze them. Gases, ha-ha, bam, you can squeeze them. You see, gases compress. Liquids and solids, they don't really compress very well. The other difference between gases and liquids is Gases will take the shape and the volume of the container they're put in. Liquids don't do that. So there you go. Solid, liquid, gas. And the rules. Does it flow? Does it take the shape of the container? And can you squeeze it? Now you know your states of matter. That'll be six fifty, Cash only. All right, Sal, I'll see you next time. Oh, hey, how you doing? Let me guess, you got some work to do and you need it done easy, right? I mean, look at this book. I mean, you could pick it up, but what, are you gonna be some sort of book picker upper person now? Is that all you're gonna do? Is that gonna be your life, just picking up books left, right, and center? No, you're smarter than that. You know what you need? A lever, like this. Now, I know what you're thinking, I know. You're thinking, hey, this is just a plank. You're right, you're, cause that's because you're smart. A plank can be a lever. All you need is two sides and a place for it to pivot. A fulcrum. It can be anything. Look at this. Bam! Now it's pivoting. I put the book on this side, and then I push down on that side. I'm doing work easy. Hey, look at me doing this work over here. If I want to do more work, I could move the fulcrum a little bit further over. Now I do lots of work, but I lift the book a lot further. Look at that. Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Yeah! Huh? What do, you, what do you say? What do you say? Huh? Huh? You don't like this lever? Don't worry. Hold on. I got another one for you here. Hey, take this stick. All you need is two ends and a place for it to pivot. Like this. Bam! Now, it's a lever. This side goes down. That side goes up. Down. Up. It's a lever. It's a lever. You want to make a catapult? Use a spoon. The place where the spoon pivots is the fulcrum. And now, 
It's a lever. It's a lever. It's a lever. Look at this lamp. Now, it's a lever. Scissors, two levers. Your forearm, it's a lever. Two ends. And the fulcrum where it pivots, yeah, the fulcrum can be at one end. Crazy. This fish, you guessed it. Now it's a lever. And now you know your levers. <laughs> yeah! My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. <laughs>